So if you practice emotional releasing in the style of Lester Levinson, David Hawkins, Michael Singer, Sedona Method, all that good stuff, letting go, I hope this helps you as much as it's helped me. I'm calling this if you're thinking you're not releasing. And this can be a subtlety or a nuance. I'm going to assume you already have some experience with the practice of allowing feelings to come to the surface and not pushing them away, but surrendering to them, allowing them to move through. I like to say taking your hands off of the emotion rather than trying to force, force it out of awareness. When you get some practice with that, what you might start to notice is as you let go, and you can even try it a little bit, just relax and release, as Michael Singer might say, into your experience right now. And as you do that, as you feel any relaxation in your body, or there's a charged topic that comes to the surface, see if as you relax or release at all, you get to a certain point of that, and then the mind's commentary starts coming in and saying whatever it's saying. Oh, it's images about what you're letting go of, or wow, that's a, that's a good release, or I'm having trouble releasing this, or connecting all these different teachings, right? All these different places that your mind might go. And you might not really be aware that you're thinking. It feels like it's just sort of part of the releasing process, but it's kind of not. You'll notice there's a very clear distinction, if you really tune into it, to the physical, visceral, emotional experience of relaxing, of surrendering into the moment, which has like an, an energy, a flow about it, that's different than the act of thinking. And it seems as though thinking, not just the appearance of thoughts, because you can't necessarily control that, but like you become engaged your attention goes from the continuing to relax, continuing to go deeper into that experience to kind of jumping onto the train of the thought or the commentary. So test it a little bit. See if as you start to relax or as you start to sink into your experience or begin to take your hands off that emotion, there's a certain amount of energy and then you start thinking. To me, it seems like the thinking is a way of pumping the brakes to keep you in a zone that's not going too far into the experience, right? Whatever it is. Just play with that. And you might even find that little mantra or idea. Oh, I'm thinking, now I'm not releasing. It can happen in a literally less than a second where, okay, some release and then whatever. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, that anger. Oh, that reminds me of when I was a kid and I'm oh, I, I'm doing some good releasing on my childhood and you're subtly out of the process. Not that you're doing anything bad or wrong, but it's like noticing there's this break on this device or or this train that can go deeper and deeper into awareness. And you might find it uncomfortable to actually keep pulling your putting yourself back into the experience. My inclination is that the people who go really far with this and even you know, masters and such is they just can kind of ride that all the way. There isn't the automatic re-identification with thought and just sort of truly moves into completion of whatever that is. So as I'm experimenting with it, I'm finding it deeper it takes the releasing deeper. I'm finding where my own blocks are, where my own breaks are that say don't go past here. And it's very fascinating. Um, let me know. I hope it's not too abstract. I hope you're able to experience this and play with it. Uh, I'd love to hear your uh, thoughts and comments too, if this is something you're noticing or if it brought any brought anything into awareness. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.